question being uh, how the pandemic uh, affects me or has affected me personally and uh, affected uh, my work. Well, the answer is um, at least twofold. On the one hand, uh, and however perversely it is, it has been a benefit because it's giving me a lot more time to dedicate myself to my work, a lot more time to spend in the studio, and I've been able to work quite uh, a lot and quite rapidly. On the other hand, of course, there is a um, the fact that of how could the, these events influence the work I'm doing. Well, I never tried to do any work explicitly about the pandemic. It is a fact that all my work for the last 40 years has been pretty much about it, about the relationship of human beings to nature. So I've been doing rather serene works, uh, like this one, for instance, and um, the fact is that in spite of that, I mean, there is this uh, dense uh, psychological atmosphere in the world created by the pandemic that now is connected to the political situation. And uh, so the, this dense atmosphere is an atmosphere of, of, of fear and fury and it is really, I think, inescapable that enters into the work of anybody working in these times. I don't do it explicitly, but I imagine that unconsciously it's all over there. So I have some works. I'll show you the four or five works that I have finished, drawings and paintings. Some of them are out. But um, here's one of a couple, uh, of, uh, of a gay couple that married in, the, in our house. And um, it's rather serene work, one that started way before uh, of um, uh, artist John Reynolds have collaborative work that I'm still working on it, uh, and it's Anthropocene, the title of it. So uh, I'm not sure you now uh, other ones. Thank you. And this is a drawing that I'm working about uh, my niece. This is actually a photograph that, that she takes, she took. She's a great photographer and filmmaker, and I'm using it as part of the drawing. And this is her with her dog. Thank you. Hi, it's Brenda. Welcome to my studio. Uh, come on in and get a glimpse of what's been going on. Uh, this year started out with great pig blands, uh, shows to go see, preparing for shows I was going to be in. Boy, things just really changed quick for all of us. Uh, it just all of a sudden went to busy work to quiet time in the studio, looking for things to do, walking around, moving things around, watching shows on Zoom, uh, YouTube. Well, we've all had a learning experience on all that, haven't we? Well, the things that have stood out to me during this whole time is even though everything we've had to do has had to stop and quiet and slow down, nature around us, it didn't. It just kept right on going. Um, the, it, the flowers, they all started blooming with all their bright colors. The birds were out there singing and soaring in the air and they were nesting and they didn't have a COVID problem. The sky cleared up and put on an amazing, and still does, put on an amazing color show every day for us to, a whole new scene to go look at. Oh, well, I'm still inspired by the world around us and really challenged by using perspective and drawing into the scene and uh, sometimes even pulling down on the itty bittiest little detail of something and uh, trying to dig into it. So even though my landscape and my perspectives and views out there have all changed, like all of us, our views have changed. I'm still kind of, you know, focusing in on what I've got around me to look at. Hope you've enjoyed the little glimpse of what I've been up to. Everybody stay safe. And hopefully we'll all be back in galleries again soon. Thanks. Bye. My name is John Slaby, and I'm an oil painter. I've been active in the Houston art community for over 30 years 
and a member of Archway Gallery since 93. My paintings are realistic and sometimes exhibit elements of surrealism. The goal of my work is to infuse meaning into the piece, often based on personal experience, and to make a connection with the viewer. This connection becomes a basis for a binding spirituality. For me, this is high art and transcends mere beauty. Since the pandemic hit, I've been stuck at home like most people. This has given me more time to work in the studio, and I pulled up many old projects and ideas that were never executed. Several of these were based on museum experiences, such as this fantasy I came up with while at the National Gallery in Washington, or this one at a show of Fernando Casas' work. I've also played around with some landscape ideas, doing a painting as though the work were in progress, and I pushed this into my figure work as well. But the isolation has taken a psychological toll as well, and I've taken the opportunity to look inward and have started to work on a series of self-portraits. In this piece, a coherent whole is constructed from separate parts, symbolizing the discovery of the authentic self. Or in this piece, the whole has been reconstructed and becomes a metaphor of recovery. I've also been working on two larger pieces which are still in progress. This larger piece came to me in a lucid dream shortly after the shutdown, when I found myself rather distraught and depressed from the loss of the social life I once knew. Here I extended the, the idea of the work in progress and show the taped photos at several different layers, the photo of the photo of the photo. Each one a level removed from the previous as in a meditation in which one becomes aware of one's thoughts from a distance. Here that process continues, creating a confusing space. I'm calling the piece Solipsism to reflect this idea of a closed self-referential world. The piece is not finished and I'm still moving forward, trying to capture the feeling of the lucid dream I had some months ago. Lastly is this work, which is near completion. It is self-referential like solipsism, but if you look closely you will see that the self-portraits become younger as they progress inward. The image thus becomes one in time as well as space, and is adds poignancy to the empty chair in the outermost image, a harbinger of our mortality which is very present these days. Thank you.